guys, and today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at my entire Doctor Who uh, replica collection, which includes mostly sonic screwdrivers, but there are a few other props. Um, two that I haven't done a review of yet, uh, and two of which I actually do have. Um, there as well, so I'll put the 3D glasses in there as well for you to see. So, we'll take a look at the Sonics first, I think that's probably what uh, people want to look at, don't they, really, more than anything else. So, uh, I've got them in order here, you can't see on the camera at the moment until I bring it in, but I've got the second Doctors, the two third Doctors, the fourth Doctors, the fifth Doctors, seven and eights, war, nine and ten, one of the variants. 11th and custom uh, and then the sonic lance is in the background there as well so uh, yeah so here is the second doctor sonic screwdriver by dark energy creations this is of course um, just an ever ready pen light basically um, <laughs> You know, but to us Doctor Who fans, it is, of course, a sonic screwdriver. So, it's not a pen light to us. But it does, of course, light up a nice bright yellow colour. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Nothing much really to say about this. It's the smallest one. Then, of course, we have the Pertwee 1. So, this is with the bullet without the magnet. Um, the red halo. Oh, you can see this needs a good polish as well. Quite a lot of the Sonics need a, a, a good polish, uh, I'm sure you'll point out in the video. You can see the nice spiral details there. The activation ring is nice and pristine on this one. And then, of course, we've got the pinstriping on the handle. With the infamous shear there that's on most of them. And, of course, like all the RB Sonics, this one does extend down for you to activate it. Uh, anyway, that's the Pertwee 1. Pertwee 2 is probably one of my more favourite ones, I think it is actually my favourite one in, this, in the classic era at the moment um, this awesome halo with brass on the inside uh, well, I mean the whole halo is brass so it's got a bit of heft to it uh, but on the Pertwee 2 and the 4th um, the um, the paint was always in the inside, not the outside so uh, the outside, not the inside, sorry, so yeah Got a nice pristine painted uh, magnet there. The screw there needs to be painted red. So the collar touches the halo, uh, which I need to do on my Pertwee one as well, but I haven't got around to it yet. As you can see, they removed the red tape and the spiral. Uh, I've got mine to replicate it with a pristine activation ring, although if you want, you can have a little bit of paint on there. Three activation dent um, lines there, and then obviously the plain handle like the fourth and the fifth doctors, and the shear. And again, this one does, of course, well, they all do, I don't know why I said that, but it does pull down. This one's quite a tight magnet um, spring, sorry, to reveal that neck piece there. This one's the shiniest one I've got, but it probably will need a polish soon. But uh, there you go, that's the Pertwee 2. I call it the 3.5 though, uh, 3.4 because it looks like the fourth Doctor's just with a few changes. Uh, here is the fourth Doctor Sonic, or Baker Sonic, whatever you want to call it, weathered. So you can see it's basically just. 
uh, a brass halo basically with like sprinkles of red here and there the magnet is weathered as well so is the neck piece you can see that there so there you go I've upgraded it so that you can see the neck piece because um, originally for some reason he doesn't RB doesn't engineer himself so that you can't actually see the neck piece and it looks more like a Pertwee 2 then so I've all I've done is you can probably see these three circles here normally when I stand the Sonic up no okay it won't work when it when when the Sonic's facing like this but when it's tilted up they fall back down to the, the bottom of the collar and then you can't see them um, but it just allows it the neck to sit a bit higher uh, the, the, hopefully there will be a more permanent solution in the future but we'll see um, got the activation ring here as well all white and to mimic the corrosion then we've got the three activation rings and then the handle this one doesn't have a very good tape inside there but it's uh, basically the same handle so that's the fourth and we've got the fifth doctors or baker two and davison one if you want to call it that this time with the halo painted bright red and the magnet with magnet forks as well painted red again did the same thing except you can't see the circle bits on this one for some reason which is better i don't know why that one is there um and then of course the activation ring there which i need to repaint a bit it's scratched a bit there but it's pristinely painted anyway then the activation rings there and then of course as we go down to again the same body as the other two next up then we have the eighth my first um my first RB Sonic, so, but this is the last video it's going to be in as it's going to a new owner, to my mate. Um, as I am going to be getting RB's new one uh, as and when he makes it. Um, RB's quite sad, quite emotional to let it go because this was my first. Not my first replica, but it was the one that came two days after my um, Robert 11th. So it's been with me for two years. I've loved and cherished it. I've got a slight problem with the that threaded rod there. It's it's bent slightly, so it actually looks like the toys now. Um, but my friend knows what to do. He's an expert at all that stuff. So. Um, He'll be able to fix it. I'm not going to close it for you because whenever I do, the spring is so strong it knocks this bullet out and it is so hard to get it in. Anybody that has one of these will know uh, that it's a git, really, to get back in. Uh, it really annoys me. I, I swear quite a lot with that. But as you can see on this one, as opposed to the others, uh, the paint tabs were never painted, but they were still dented, you know. To, they were still done so that you can see the grooves but they were never painted same with that one there it was never painted it's not that rb forgot to do it on this one it's that they weren't ever painted because this was a silver brass and red design they didn't want any black black in it i quite like the aluminium sort of bare color of the halo but i think i prefer the chili red from the pertwee 2 I think that's my favourite emitter. Next up then to finish off the classic designs we have I'll turn it on, actually. the uh the war doctor sonic screwdriver. So this one has an LED rather than a halo. 
This is also modelled off the, the, this is 3D scan from the toy. So this, the dimensions of this, everything's fatter. So that is not as thin as the other ones. Um, the, the grooves aren't as deep as the other ones as well. And the body is slightly different. And there is, of course, the, the fez as well. And this one's been upgraded by a friend of mine, so it does also uh, light up a nice bright red as well. So there you go. Um, this is beautiful. I mean, it's, it's much better than the toy. And I know the toy is more accurate, but, um, well, it is accurate because it was shown on the thing. Uh, it was the one that was shown on the show, but I just, I love it. I think it's so cool. It's just awesome. It is so cool. But just to let you know, it doesn't come with a light. My friend, uh, my friend put the electronics in there, so it doesn't come with it. On to the modern era then. I don't have many at the moment because they haven't arrived yet, but this one is the weathered series four i keep doing that weathered series three aztec weathered for the wars as you can see from the head of this sonic and then the body just has the button without a case the whole body's banged up Looks like it's been around the block a bit with him, I think. Um, and that grub screw there has purposely not been put on because um, just to give it the aesthetic look of it being weathered, basically. So, a few dents and dings on the uh, back as well. Uh, it does light up. A, a lovely blue. I'll let you decide in the video which one's the brighter light. But it does extend as well to feature the yellow helix. And uh, as I said, it's awesome. Nice sound. Put the head back in, and it's uh, yeah, it's just a cool sonic, really. I love it, I do. Now, on to the two very expensive ones in the collection the uh, the one that's in dire need of a polish, the Roberto 11th version 2. With my lovely emitter, which you'll see more of when I extend it. The lovely gnarling section here, even though I prefer the ridges on the other one that you're going to see. Uh, you can see here from the copper that it's definitely in a dire need of a polish. So if, before, before you even think of commenting, yes, it will be done soon. I'm in the process of ordering some Cape Cod I think I'll use to do it so there you are and there's a not so secret red button as well and you can see the cores there as well Nice green. That was really bad, sorry.
That was a bit better. Uh, and then finally, for the meantime anyway, the recently reviewed Custom Mark II. This one is beautiful, absolute, just amazing. Never loved a custom until um, well, basically until the twelfth doctor comes out. I think this will be the this will be my favourite one. It's a lot better than the. Uh, than the uh, normal 11th there and of course you can you can do that with your thumb as well because of the ridges so and then the cores here the top one isn't as good as other people's it's got one bit just there and then the rest is plain but it's like candy really I mean and then with this one I think this is the biggest one it's got a nice tint to it see that like sort of bright red tint there that only happens in certain lights look at that that's, that's so cool uh, but then this side and then this side doesn't but that has a nice bright tint as well look in certain lights and then obviously the wood just looks amazing um, this one's a bit shinier than my version 2, but it will still be polished at the same time. Love the brown leather. And again, love the wood on this instead of the resin. It's just awesome. So, that is the newest one. Um... Such a lovely, satisfying flick and vip as it goes back in. Right then, um, well that's all the Sonics, uh, so we'll take a look at some props now I think from the show. So here we have, I got this on eBay, um, zoom out a little bit so you can see. Uh, let me rest you on the Sonics there. <laughs> I'll just do this. Okay, that's better. Right, yeah, so as you can see, um, it's the De TARDIS dematerialization circuit from, I believe this one's from the third Doctor, the three Doctors, sorry, but I don't know. I got it on eBay. I didn't get it from anywhere in particular, so I'm not entirely sure, uh, you know, uh, where... Or which episode this is from but I thought it was you know a cool prop to have on display so that's the TARDIS dematerialization circuit yeah we'll do this one next up then we have the uh, neural block from uh, Hellbent is it I think or Heaven Sent one of the two anyway I can't remember but uh, this is the thing where they both hold it and one of them lose, um, loses their memory of the person. Of course, uh, Clara reversed the polarity, which was quite funny. And the Doctor ended up forgetting it, forgetting her instead of her forgetting him. So, um, yeah, it's a cool prop. I think, you know, it, it, it'll look great with my 12th Sonic when that comes. Um, but, yeah. I got this on eBay as well, so I don't know who made this. Some people have said to me it looks like a Roberto one. But I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something inside this hole. Comment if you know what that is. I think it's supposed to be something like frosted glass or something. Um, I feel like I'm going to get somebody comments and dirty comments about that. But anyway. Um, yeah, it's cool. I like the prop. I think it's awesome. 
Then we have, for you classic lovers out there, uh, the Metabilis 3 Crystal uh, from Mooncrest Models. This one um, I love. It lights up as well. That's a better view. There. This was from amazing classic episodes. Um, the Green Death was where it was first shown. And then, of course, um, brought back in the Planet of the Spiders. But to, to change the battery, that's how you do it. Um, that's the LED. And it just sits back in there. Then we have the Sonic Lance. Six dots for Sonic Lance. Here as well. This one's a bit... It's a bit too big, I think. Um, let's see the light go shine through there. See the light there. You can see the light there as well. So, yep, that's pretty awesome. It's a bit too oversized, I think, for, for me. But, um, and it's not metal either. It's 3D, 3D printed stuff. So, yeah. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. That is all of my Doctor Who proper replicas. Sonics, are, of course, are the main ones. And then there's a few little props here and there. So, obviously, as you can see, There are all the Sonics, we've got the props there, and then we've got the TARDIS there as well, with the little adipose waving at you. <laughs> so cute. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Again, I enjoyed making it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um... And as always, I'll give you a nice spin. Thank you very much, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.